Hello and welcome in to my old sewing office and uh, welcome to the tutorial of this kimono coat made of a patchwork, uh, a fabric that I first stitched up myself. This was actually for a big kind of bed linen project uh, and then I just decided to use the fabric for something else. So I made this quite nice kimono, if I may say so myself. And it's reversible so it's uh, you can use it both from the front and the back and i will show you how so first of all i had this fabric that i had made by stitching up first lots of squares and then making some triangles to add to those squares so i had this pattern and then i just decided to use it for something so i folded it up so it's lying in quite a few layers here so i can cut both for the front and back pieces and the lining as well for the kimono. And I'm just using kimono that I've already made and simply just cutting out from that. And I'm giving it about a couple of centimeters seam allowance on either on, on, on all the sides. And you can see it's quite a few layers that I have to cut through. I can't cut through them all at once. So it's a super easy uh, model because there are kind of no different pieces for the body and the sleeves it's all in one piece just with this nice curve down along the side so i need to cut a little neck opening and that was for the back and then i'm just cutting it up open up against in the sleeve seam or so are the shoulder seams and then i'm going to cut an opening here for the front as well and i want it a little bit open so i'm just cutting away all this fabric i can use that again later so there will be a nice big opening on the front pieces so here you can see what it's going to look like very very cool and i haven't really taken the kind of pattern placement into consideration at all just thinking that it's going to look cool no matter what and here we have the back piece that's folded so that's all in one piece and uh, i have both as you can see both the lining and the outer piece here so it's it's lying in two layers i have all that at once and then I'm just putting on like one of the front side pieces on and of course by front piece side I mean like I have both layers I have both the lining layer and the outside layer at the same time so that I'm placing them on top and then I can actually just stitch down the shoulder seams and under the arms on all those pieces and stitch them together all at once so that is very nice to do and now I have done it here as you can see and then I'm going to add bias tape to cover up the seams because I want it to be a reversible jacket. I want it to look, both, look good from both the front and the back. So I'm opening up the, the bias tape here so the, the right fold is folded out. And then I'm just going to try to aim to stitch directly in the right fold and place the right fold as well on top of the seam that's already been made. And that I've done here as you can see. And then I'm simply going to open up this tape. Um, to well, open up the, the coat, if, if you may say it like that, and then just stitch it on. So it's it's attached in the, in the fold uh, on one side of the bias tape, and then it's simply stitched onto it on the other side of the bias tape, because that means that underneath the bias tape, I have my raw edges hidden, and uh, now you can't see them anymore, and it looks very, very nice. So that is all the side, all the seams done now, both the shoulder seams and the inside seams under the arms, and it looks nice and neat, and uh, no raw edges there. Apart from, of course, the opening of the sleeves and the opening at the bottom and the opening at the front. So I have to finish those in a nice way, and I'm also going to use that with some bias tape. So I'm just cutting uh, it, kind of adjusting it a little bit. I'm making my my neck opening a little bit bigger. And now I've got some bias tape again that I'm going to add. So I'm just folding it up again so it's folded, unfolded to the right. And then I'm going to stitch it on in that right fold. And I'm making sure that the edge of my fabric is aligned with the edge of the bias tape. And then I'm just simply stitching, stitching, stitching. And uh, I've done that now. So I'm just cutting off a little bit of the excess fabric here so I can make a nice uh, kind of neat fold of this bias tape. So I want to fold it around here so you can see it from both sides. So I'm tucking it in, first from the bottom and then from the side, and then just stitching it in place. And then it's going to look very, very nice and neat. And you won't be able to see any of the raw edges on this uh, kimono. And it's going to be super 
fancy and look very, very nice. So I hope you like watching this tutorial. I will recommend that you try a project like this yourself. It is really not difficult to make one of these uh, kimono jackets. It's just, yeah, a kind of sleeves and body in one and it's a lot of fun to make and you will love it afterwards, I'm sure. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.